It's hard to imagine any company releasing its first smartphone generating the hype that nothing has for the Phone 1. Yet, hype may be a double-edged sword. The trickle of teasers produced excitement and anticipation, and the 100,000 plus people who signed up to buy the phone prove it converted into sales. But has it put too much pressure on a phone? Maybe, but nothing's phone is good. The phone may not be life-changing or a dramatic break from industry conventions as founder Carl Pei claims, but it has a well-specified inexpensive phone with great value. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Design and Build Quality The phone features a multi-layered and textured design underneath the glass, which unfortunately attracts smudges and fingerprints. Instead of cheap electronics, there's a central circle denoting the phone's wireless charging coil, a winding strip for a connector and visible screws. These are functional. They can flash in time with ringtones and notifications, which are nothingified, with electronic tones that sound like R2-D2 colliding with a synthesizer, illuminate to show charging status and even activate all lights at once as a field light in the camera app. The lights are fun, but they're novelty. Nothing's speech is that you can apply patterns to certain contexts or apps to filter out non-urgent messages, but the Phone 1 also supports an always-on display. How comfortable you are setting your phone display down, which scratches the screen, may affect its appeal. Fortunately, nothing delivers the Phone 1 with a pre-applied screen protector to safeguard the glass display, but if you keep it face down, you may need to buy a few replacements or a case with a leap. The Phone 1's design is less eccentric but still outstanding. Its quiet off sides resemble the latest iPhones, but its recycled aluminum frame makes it light despite its chunkiness. Durability is decent. Gorilla Glass 5 covers the phone's front and back, which is scratch resistant but not the toughest. IP53 guarantees dust and water resistance. Audio or Video 6.55 inches 120Hz OLED Thick, symmetrical front basal and loud stereo speakers. The Nothing Phone 1 comes with an Android operating system, typical with a 6.55-inch screen. Its 120Hz OLED display is above average, however, there are cheaper phones with similar panels. It's vibrant and HDR10 Plus enabled. The 120Hz refresh rate smooths animations throughout the experience and only speeding up as needed. Locking it at 60Hz saves battery. Looking at the phone head-on, the black bezel around the border is slightly thicker than you might be used to but nothing has labored to make it symmetrical with the same width on every side. No headphone jack here, only wireless or USB-C headphones. However, stereo speakers are good. They are loud. These mid-range phones have better speakers than others. Performance Specs Snapdragon 778G Plus mid-range chipset RAM or storage options Limited US connectivity Qualcomm's October 2018 mid-market Snapdragon 778G Plus powers the Nothing Phone 1. The Phone 1's mid-range price is due to this chip, which is both older and a tier below the Snapdragon 8 series, Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 replace it. Benchmark performance is comparable to the OnePlus Nord 2T and better than the Galaxy A53. The phone has little lag in real life, it's swift but unremarkable. The 778G Plus comes with 8GB or 12GB of RAM and 128GB or 256GB of storage. Although the cheapest 8 plus 128GB model is only available in black. Connectivity The phone contains a typical 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and NFC for Google Pay. The only drawback is that the phone may not work well in North America due to signal bands. Nothing cautions that T-Mobile will be the only major three networks to offer basic 5G from a single network band. AT&T will be 3G and 4G only, and version will be extremely limited. In fairness, the phone isn't officially on sale there outside of a beta test, more on that below, but it's more important to know if you're an American considering trying the phone or a frequent traveler to the US. Battery or charging Poor battery life Uncharged, reverse wireless charging The Phone 1 has a 4500mAh battery, another typical attribute. However, battery life is below average, thus I expect poor optimization. It lasts approximately a day, but I've had it die already. Phones always degrade. I charged the phone at 33 watts for 30 minutes and got 67% battery back. Even at this low price, Xiaomi, OnePlus and other phones are faster than Samsung, Apple and Google. 
Nothing's decision to send phones without chargers may not help. That's greener, but if you need a USB-C charger, nothing will sell you one for 45 euros. The trade-off is that the Phone 1 supports wireless charging at up to 15 watts using the QI standard and reverse wireless charging for headphones and other devices. Only the iPhone SE has this capability. The Phone 1 is the cheapest option for Android users who loathe wires. Camcorder Two good back cameras, good selfie camera, LED recording. Nothing has focused most on the camera unlike many competitors. Three or four rare cameras are becoming more common on phones at this price, although usually just one is decent enough to use. Nothing features two rare cameras, one main and one ultra-wide. Both are decent for the price. However, nighttime performance is poor. The main camera employs a 50-megapixel Sony IMX766 sensor, which is featured in mid-range phones like the OnePlus Nord 2T and flagships like the Oppo Find X5 Pro. Bright, punchy, and capable of beautiful images in most lighting circumstances. Even with 2 times digital zoom, the detail is good. Drag to move through the slideshow on desktop. OIS helps the main camera handle low light but not as effectively as flagship cameras. As a young startup, nothing isn't competing with the big dogs here, where software and camera algorithms work their magic. Compared to the main lens, this camera's photos appear washed out and faded. Without OIS, nighttime details dissolve into a fuzz. It's better than most ultra-wides, but don't expect it to match the primary camera. 16-megapixel selfie camera surprised the most. The portrait mode detected subjects adequately and images were well exposed and illuminated. No issues. Both rear lenses can record 4K at 30fps video. However, the front camera can only shoot 1080 pixels. Video settings are simple. However, you can switch on a blinking red LED on the back while filming, which is amusing. The Glyph interface field light option adds extra lighting that vloggers would like, but it is shuttle and not as bright as a ring light. Software or updates Nothing OS is just Android 12 skin. Bugs remain. Three Android upgrades promised. The Phone 1 runs Android 12 with Nothing OS. If you tested the phone's launcher's public beta a few months before release, You've seen much of the company's unique Android skin. The main additions are unique wallpapers, minimalist clock and weather widgets, and a retro-styled audio recording app. You may also enlarge program icons and folders, and if you have the company's Ear One headphones, there are built-in controls. The only other integrations are unattractive. Tesla users may use shortcuts to manage their cars and NFTs fans can show off their monkey images in a gallery. Those features reveal nothing's target market. But they may also deter us. If you don't care, you can disregard them, unlike Tesla and NFT fans themselves, unfortunately. The software still needs work. The Phone 1 program seems more stable than the Ear 1 software, although it still has issues. For one, you can't set specific Glyph LED patterns to individual app notifications from the Glyph controls. You have to go into each app's notification settings, which is tedious. I've encountered charging troubles and display white balance issues. The phone sometimes charges on wired and wireless connections and sometimes seizing altogether. Not good for charging overnight, especially because nothing doesn't ship its own charger, forcing you to figure out compatibility. The good news is that the business is offering a reasonable 3 Android version updates for the phone, enough to take it through Android 13, 14 and 15, and a fourth year of security patches. That's not as good as Samsung's 4 Android updates which is still the best, but it's better than most and should keep you from upgrading in two years. Price The Phone 1 price stunned me. I expected a competitive price, but the final price looks bullish. I'll admit that I was a bit stunned when I saw the Phone 1's price. I knew it would be competitive, but the final price still looks like bullish. Now the verdict. Phone 1 is a near-perfect phone. The IP53 rating, capable cameras, and wireless charging compensate for the short battery life and some glitches. Before we start designing, the Phone 1 may be polarizing, but its semi-transparent rear and LED patterns will make it stand out. I'm unimpressed with the smartphone revolution start, but after the novelty wears off, you'll only have a phone like all the others. Foldables like the now inexpensive Galaxy Z Flip 3 have changed the way I use my phone more than nothing's handset, so if you bought into the hype, you may want to reconsider. Though difficult, developing a terrific phone as your second product is extraordinary, even if this isn't special, it's a good decision.
So guys, if you find this video valuable, don't hesitate in showing us appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel.